complete unit. Okay. Okay, so, you know, first and foremost, when you watch how the jet, how do you attack these guys? Well, find your leverage spots. And one thing that the Titans do is they're going to keep their outside guy, whether it's a defensive end, whether it's, you know, Arden Key or, or Landry, they like to play a wide nine. And they'll play a wide nine or, or a, like a wide five or a wide seven with a shade on that side, not a five, obviously, but a seven or a nine with a shade on that side. But right now, if you think that, you know, Landry's not like a great run defender. So if you think that you can put Tucker Craft hipped off and then have Musgrave or, or, or really anybody, uh, an extra offensive lineman, run a, a, a scoop block between the, the tight end and the right tackle here. Then you get a double team between the right guard and the, and the the center and really the numbers here are just, this is a super easy blocking scheme for uh for any team right now all you all you have to do is understand that that landry has to play outside leverage so he's going to get opened up and if you can get movement on i think that's day on on the, def at the defensive end spot over the the, the first tight end inside at the, at the seven technique if you get movement between the, the right tackle and the tight end you got all kinds of space there because that that linebacker is going to get caught up. So you're just trying to find leverage. Again, they try to play these guys real wide and stand up, so it's not hard to get leverage on them. And you just see, this is a very and listen. They got good running backs. We have good running backs, but every single player has leverage on their on their defender. So the safety has to make this from you know coming from 15 yards deep. You make one wrong cut, you got a lot of problems. So we look here. Empty just absolutely killed these guys. So I know that that I think Paul told Rogers, "Hey, listen, man, if they go, man, if they front walk that linebacker out of me, just throw me a go ball." And he's like, "Okay." But if you look at what's happening here, they get manned up outside, man on man with linebacker. The safety immediately back pedals to the center of the field, so he knows ball's gone. And uh, I mean, he's won by three yards. So. These are op options and opportunities based on what Tennessee has showed on tape already. Again, I, I can't imagine you're going to see the same game plan. I think they have to make some adjustments. But, I mean, good Lord, there's some opportunities in this, in this field. Same thing here. So you have two tight ends in, or even if I, I think that's a, a tight end on the right. There might be a wide receiver. But you just look at the box. This is a six-man box versus seven, a seven-man block quarterback. And running back. Uh, this is, as far as I'm concerned, this is bad football. You know, now is the safety going to come down into the into that that backside D gap there? Probably they've left space for him, but now you have to show up on time. And right now, from a blocking system, the the right tackle, the right guard have great leverage on the on the inside linebacker. The center of the left guard have great leverage on the backside linebacker. And your tight end that's hipped off, who's at a different should be at a disadvantageous position to Harold Landry because Landry plays in a two-point, because he plays in a wide nine offset. Now remember, the defensive players line up off of the offensive players. So you see this tight end, like that split that he has off the right tackle is well over a yard. And they line up off of that. So they've already created this massive running lane between the defensive tackle and the outside linebacker just based on how their splits are. So really a hidden weapon there. So we get the outside zone. For whatever reason, this backer backdoors this. And as we're looking at now, like hindsight 2020, but you look at it now and you go, man, that makes no sense that he would do that. So it helps the tackle get extra hands on, the, on their best player, and they take it to the house. So here's the other thing. They go empty, and you just have answers everywhere. Okay, so they got man on their showing pressure in the uh, in the strong side, A gap or B gap with the linebacker, but he's going to back out and play that tight end. We got manned up to the to to I think that's Hall, who's in the hipped off position over the left tackle. Okay, everybody else is in man. They they play in, looks like they're playing cover two man to start, and you see the back at the top goes outside. He thinks because Hall's chipping. He goes outside, so he takes that outside release over the top of that uh, X receiver. Just goes back in steps. Easy 10-yard pickup, right? Easy 10-yard pickup. 
Now, this is, I think this is a third and long, so, so take it for the grain of salt. But take your gimmies. This is one thing that Aaron Rodgers did that was so great. The, the, Tom Brady, the great ones do this. They'll just, if they, if you're going to give me, you know, a 12 yard cushion, I'm just going to throw the ball into the slide and give, and I'll get 10 yards back. It doesn't make any sense. So you see from the, where the linebackers are, I've highlighted with the, with the white cones, there's no danger in, in the throwing lane here or the chance that the linebacker gets over if he lets this ball go fast. Safety's got to make a play. And they end up making the play, and I, I, it looks like they're close to the sticks. But if you back this up, like this is – for me, this is bad football by the Titans. Like you're catching this ball with one yard to go with momentum. I, I don't know if they got this or not, but it's pretty damn close. So, again, we're just talking numbers. I mean, this is – from a defensive coordinator standpoint – this is dramatically unsound. So they've just gone into uh, a, a tight end offset. They've put that nine out there with a really a shade. You can call this guy a two-eye gap player, whatever you want, between the left guard and the center. But, I mean, he's charging gap. If that defensive end allows himself to get blocked in the D gap and not the C gap, now you're asking 53 to take the backside B and the play side B and the play side C gap. Impossible for him to do. So you just, it's just a simple numbers game. This is insane. There's a huge lane there. You've got one of the biggest guys on the field, you know, having to block one, you know, a, a medium sized. And you just see the lanes here because the defensive end gets blocked off by the tight end. That's what I maybe shocked me the most about this game is the tight ends doing such a good job blocking for the New York Jets. Okay, we really got four strong here from a uh, from the Jets. Now, I think the best – so when you look at this, I'll show this from the end zone, but these are really the best plays that they have, and it's when the linebackers just have built-in dogs, and they're just going right now. So I'll show this from the end zone. And you look where, you look where Hall is, and this is a good read by him. I'm sure they picked this up on tape. When your running back is over the right tackle – like this, he's either releasing or they have to run outside zone to the left because, like, like uh, we, we run the same play. But this is, like, from an insert standpoint, he's too far away to insert into the A or B gap. So you know that if you're trying to win here with leverage, it's 56 figures out quickly. If they make a call or anything that suggests that the center is going to try to pick you up, then you're going to be able to beat them to a spot if you just just based on where Hall's lined up. Okay, great play by him, and I, again, I think this is where they're at their best. And then of course you got Jeffrey Simmons, who's a run game wrecker, and so they run a B here to the backside. I think this is short yardage, and you know they've obviously brought some guys up here, so they have they have eight in the box, but Simmons just swims the right guard here. Ends up getting in the backfield, knocking the tackle on his ass, and then making the play you know, for, for a tackle for loss. I mean, this guy's a real run game wrecker. He's a guy that can make a difference in a, in a football game if you allow him to. So definitely of, of all the people they have, probably that you, you need to be the most aware of 